Hi guys, it's me, Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher. Welcome back to a, another video, Dreamweavers. So in this video, I wanted to do a, another of my Sabbath 101 series. So this video we are going to be doing about Lithia. You'll learn a little bit more about that, which Lithia is um, the another word for the uh, summer solstice. Uh, so we celebrate Lithia on or around the 21st of June. So summer solstice is the longest day of the year and the shortest night. So let's learn a little bit more about that one. I will be occasionally looking that way. I have some notes written down and I didn't want to forget anything so I will try not to look that way too much but I apologise if I do as I just didn't want to forget anything. So um, for Lithia it marks a um, important turning point in the wheel of the year. The goddess is pregnant and the earth is flourishing. We have the sort of heady sense of summer in the air. This, however, it's all due to change as the Oak King is about to hand over the power to his brother, the Holly King. And it's the time of year that we sort of um, look back and we celebrate everything that has been achieved so far. And it's another mark of how the seasons are changing and that winter and the darker time of the year is on the horizon. The shift in balance is also important as it's needed to keep um, everything, keep the wheel of the year turning and everything um, the way it should be. The different deities that we tend to uh, honour around this time are all the, um, all the different sun gods and goddesses, um, which I will give you a... Uh, I literally crossed my legs funny. I will give you a few examples of those in a second. Um, different old, like sort of if you like to change your altar up for the different sabbats in the seasons, some decorations that you could use, things like sunflowers, um, oak leaves, uh, bread, honey, sort of um, yellow and orange and gold like candles and flowers and things like that any sort of you could use any herbs that you feel called to um the color associations for this sabbat are the sort of summer colors so you have your um your yellows your oranges your gold your blues greens any sort of bright red bright vibrant colors um animals that we associate as well with this time of year uh, my spirit animal, butterfly, um, eagles, bears, or um, other colours, other sort of colour associations. You have sort of like white as well as what I said about the summery colours and pink as well. Um, different crystals that you could place on your altar or use in some form for your practice are um, a gate, uh, amber, I love amber, moonstone, that's one of my favourites as well, fluorite, tiger's eye and pearl. Different foods that you could um, either leave as offerings um, to your chosen deities or fae or whatever or consume in um, post rituals or whatever is um, different sort of pastries, cheeses, wines, honeys. Um, summer salads, potatoes, any yeah, that sort of thing. Um, so Apollo, Horus, Lu, and Aten are some of the goddesses that we tend to associate with the Sabbath. Uh, did I say goddesses? I said gods. I don't know if I said gods. It was gods, but I, but I can't remember if I said that. But goddesses, we're looking at Gaia, so like Mother Earth, we're looking at goddess of love, Aphrodite, uh, Vesta. Sorry, bear with me. I'm just like trying to turn the page and it wasn't happening. Okay, so, um, 
turn a page on my writing rather. <laughs> so different intents that you may want to use for the Sabbath, uh, saffrons, a good one, orange, frankincense, um, symbol associations uh, for this time of year is sun, uh, wildflowers, uh, fairies, uh, fruits, fire and seashells, so any sort of way that's the sort of symbology that we would like to associate lithia with, so any sort of way that you feel that you can uh, incorporate those in your craft and to celebrate the Sabbath, then go for it. Um, different spells that you may want to work around this time is um, for blessings and invoking um, that sort of like God and Goddess work, uh, fire divinations, earth work, fairy work, any of that sort of thing. And obviously this, the, we are celebrating the, we're celebrating the sun and that harvest is on the way and it's the longest day of the year. So other names that you may hear Lithia called by is the uh, solstice, uh, midsummer, sun blessing. Also some things that you may want to do um, to celebrate that you could do. You could leave offerings of honey cake for your deities um, or the fae, whoever you are working with going on a long walk in nature and just absorbing like all the heady smells and just the vibrancy and the full lushness of summer. Making a flower crown or a daisy chain. I always used to make daisy chains when I was young. So you could make some sort of flower crown to use in your ritual or anything like that searching for wild flowers and just being among wild flowers like that's really cool and really awesome picking strawberries you could go strawberry picking i don't know about where you live or where i live locally there's quite a few um different places that offer strawberry picking and i used to do that all the time when i was young and that's that was always really fun and eating a couple along the way was uh was good as well having a bonfire or if you've got like a little fire pit or a cauldron or anything like that and you have a safe outdoor space to do so that's a really nice and fun way to celebrate the solstice uh creating a fairy garden that as well that's a um cool way to um sort of honor the fae at this time of year you could um if you have a little patch in your garden or you could get a um little like pot or whatever put some soil in and for all um different little plants and flowers and different things that um represent the fae to you having a picnic you could, that could be in your garden or you could find a nice spot in nature and that's a, a lovely way to celebrate the longest day of the year is just to be out in nature just being grateful and just enjoying just enjoying the solstice and you could save a bit of your picnic food and leave it as an offering and also you could do sort of any sort of DIY projects like with flowers and herbs you could make soaps and candles and bath bombs and uh, body washes and all different kinds of stuff trust me to go too far oh I hate I wish some I would actually I'm trying to get into taking notes on my iPad so I have pages and pages of notes that I've taken for like all my videos that I'm gonna be doing and sometimes I get lost and confused they're going to flick the next page and then I go back too far and I'm just like oh god what have I done but yeah so I hope I gave you a few ideas of things that you could do to um honor the longest day and I would love to hear what your Sabbath celebrations are like if you um, have any ideas you could message me you could drop them in the comments or you could tag me in any posts on Instagram or Facebook that would be so cool but I would love to know how you celebrate the Sabbath so let me know but until next time I hope you have a lovely solstice and keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.